In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure all of your WordPress web content gets indexed by the search engines. Welcome to All in One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So what is indexing exactly? What is crawling? Well, if we do a quick search here for basketball shoes on Google, we can see all of these pages come up in the search results, like this one from Nike.com, this one from Foot Locker. So all of these pages have been crawled by the search engine spiders and are in this massive database and are indexed now in the search engine. There's 230 million results for basketball shoes. And we obviously want to help you get onto this first page here so that people can actually find your content. But the first step to that is to make sure that your content is even indexed. Step one to showing up on this first page of Google results to get your content indexed. If it's not in the search engine's index of web content, then there's no chance of showing up here at all. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to get your content indexed. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field, click Connect, and that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, I want to show you something really cool that you can do with AIO SEO running on your website. Let's head on over to the All Posts section here. And here's all the posts on my site. And if we look at the AIO SEO details column on the right, we can actually see the index status of any piece of content here just by taking a glance at this column. So this green check mark here signifies that this page is in fact indexed. The site's doing well. All of my content is indexed. If it's not indexed, you're going to see an orange exclamation point and it'll tell you why it's not indexed. So this is a brand new site that I've put out. So that's probably the reason why some of this content is not indexed. But on the site that's been sitting out there for a little bit, all of the content is indexed and I don't have to wonder if it is or not. I can just take a glance at this AIO SEO details column and find out right away. So if you want to make sure your website looks more like this and has lots of happy green check marks here telling you that everything's okay, you got to provide Google and the other search engines with the right information. So the way we do that is we make sure we have an XML sitemap that communicates to Google all of the new content and all the existing content on our website. So let's head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says sitemaps. So the XML sitemap is enabled by default in all-in-one SEO. So we just wanna be sure that it is in fact enabled. If you look on the top here, you can see there are tabs for general sitemap, video sitemap, news sitemap, HTML sitemap, and RSS sitemap. 
Today, we're just going to be concerned with the general sitemap, which is the XML sitemap. If you want to check it out, you can click the Open Sitemap button and preview it. And this is our sitemap. It's broken down by post and attachments and pages. So if I want to see all of the posts on my site, for example, I can click on the post sitemap here and there's all the posts on my site. I'm going to close out of that. We do have another video on this YouTube channel that dives into all of the settings that control your sitemap. I'm not going to do that in this video today, but you can check it out on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. But for now, we just want to make sure this toggle switch is enabled. If it's not, flip it to the on position and click the big blue button that says save changes. Now your XML sitemap is enabled. And anytime you put out a new post or a new piece of content or update a piece of content, Google will be updated. So now that you've got your sitemap situation all sorted out, I'm going to show you another powerful tool within All-in-One SEO that can help get your content indexed. So head back on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left, and we're going to click on the link that says Feature Manager. And when this page loads, we're going to scroll down to the feature called Index Now. I'm just going to flip the toggle switch over from deactivated to activated. And then we're going to head on over to the general settings section underneath All-in-One SEO again. We're going to click on the tab up top that says Webmaster Tools. We're going to scroll down and click on Index Now. And AIO SEO has automatically generated an Index Now API key. So I'm just going to scroll up and click Save Changes to make sure that's been saved. And now the Index Now protocol is being used on this website. So what Index Now does is take information about any new content on your website or changes to existing content and communicate that out to participating search engines basically immediately. So as of the recording of this video, Google is not a participating search engine, but they could be in the future. And it certainly doesn't hurt to get your content indexed in all of the search engines that do participate in the Index Now protocol, including Bing. There is one more thing we can do to make sure our content gets indexed by the search engines, and that is to make sure our website has a robots.txt file and that it allows the search engines to index our content. So once again, let's head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left, and this time click on the link that says Tools. And when this page comes up, make sure you're on the robots.txt editor tab. If you want to see what your robots.txt file looks like, you can click this blue button here. It says open robots.txt, and this will show us what our file looks like. We have another video on this website that goes into how to edit the robots.txt file, how to use the all-in-one SEO robots.txt editor with all of these options here. In this video, we just want to make sure that enable customs robots.txt is toggled into the on position. So if it's toggled off, make sure it's on and click save changes to update those changes. There is one more thing we want to double check on our website to make sure that the robots.txt file is functioning properly. If we go over to the standard WordPress settings menu, and then we're going to click on the link that says reading. And the final item on the list here says search engine visibility. And then there's a checkbox and next to that checkbox, it says discourage search engines from indexing this site. So make sure that is not checked. If that's checked, what happens is WordPress will alter the robots.txt file and tell it to exclude all crawlers, all spiders from indexing your website. Normally, this is unchecked, but it's definitely worth double checking since this can have such a devastating effect on your SEO. Make sure that is unchecked. If you want to be doubly sure, click the Save Changes button and your changes have been saved, and now your content will get indexed by the search engines. So that's how to get all of your content indexed by the search engines. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this video right here, I'll show you how to perform SEO on a brand new website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.